coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be taking a look at some really amazing 1972 double dive finds by Jay Painter of the CoinOp group on Facebook. So let's dive right on in. When you start searching, try not to get discouraged if you do not immediately start finding rare and valuable errors or varieties. They are rare and valuable for a reason. Typically, they are very hard to find. Just like anything else, when you do it long enough, eventually it does pay off. Fortunately, there are many great reference sites to help you along your path while you are searching, with sites such as One Million Pennies Project by Ken Peavy, who offers general information to coin roll hunters and searchers, or reference sites such as DoubleDie.com, VarietyVista.com, CopperCoins.com, VamWorld.com, BriansVarieties.com, that all show various varieties and exactly what it is that you should be looking for in various die markers, it becomes very easy to educate yourself on exactly what it is that you want to search for and you want to collect. So as you are searching, every once in a great while, an amazing score comes along. Take for instance, this amazing score by Jay Painter. Now Jay is one of the admins of the CoinOp group on Facebook, and he is an expert, especially when it comes to things such as the 1909 Lincoln Cent Double Dies, he really, really, truly knows a ton about them. Jay had purchased a roll of 1972 Gem BU, which means Brilliant Uncirculated, Gem typically means MS65 or higher, Lincoln Cents. Now Jay had paid $8 for this roll of 1972 Lincoln cents. After searching this roll, Jay's count totaled 37, I will repeat that, 37 1972 DDO-003s. So that's double die type three. He found 37 out of the 50 coins were all high grade, uncirculated double dies. Now this double die does carry a nice small premium and it regularly trades between $20 to $40 in uncirculated higher grades. So that easily makes this, at full retail value, a $1,000 roll of Lincoln cents that he purchased for $8. This double die does carry a nice small premium and regularly trades in nice high grades such as these between $20 to $40 in example. So that would easily make this a thousand dollar roll of Lincoln cents. Now 1972 double dies are all highly desirable and highly collectible. When any of them come up for auction, they typically sell quick and at or around book values. So when you're looking them up, whatever the book values say, typically that's roughly about what you fetch. Now with the 1972s, there are 18 known double dies for that year. And that's the double die adverses. There are 18 different known double dies. And there are a lot of collectors that want to put together complete sets. Now with 1972 DDO-001 being one of the strongest and most sought after, these ones typically will trade anywhere from, with circulated ones, between $40 upwards of $150, to uncirculated examples that trade between 200 to 400 and much more so for nicer, higher graded examples. Now, the DDO 001 is a very extreme, strong double die that can be seen with the naked eye, hence, why it is extremely desirable. Although, with the 1972 double dies, the 1972 DDO 004 is the rarest in the 72 DDO series and it commands a very, very solid premium. It is very desirable in any grade. If you happen to find one, you will very quickly have a buyer for it, especially any collector who is trying to finish a set of 72 double dies. Now, PCGS only list value for an MS60, and they list value at $1,100. So, 
That's what you could use as a baseline, but they don't have values listed in all the other grades to go by. Back to Jay Painter. So Jay had purchased an $8 roll of 1972 Lincoln cents, and 37 of them ended up being the 1972 DDO-003. So he went back to the same person, and he decided to purchase a $50 burlap bag of uncirculated gem BU, which means brilliant uncirculated, gem meaning MS-65 or higher, and it's a sealed bag from the mint. So he purchased that bag, and he went through and he searched them. And out of that burlap bag, he found almost 100 WDDO-012, but th this is a much more minor double die. Now he found almost a hundred of these. Now, as I said, this is much more minor of a double die, and this variety shows as an extra tail under the two in the date. Now these minor DDOs, they don't fetch nearly as much as the others in the series, and uncirculated examples typically trade between five to twenty dollars an example. Now, Jay Painter found almost two rolls worth of the WDDO-012 while searching this uncirculated $50 bag. So again, with this bag of Lincolns, with $50 face value, he pulled 100 examples of double dies, and these examples are all Gem BU, brilliant uncirculated, and they should fetch around $10 a piece. So, once again, that's another $1,000 bag of 1972 Lincoln cents. So this just goes to show you that these things are out there, and you can find them. Things like these turn up every day. So with a little knowledge of what to search for, some time, a jeweler's loop, some decent lighting, and a nice healthy pile of coins, and some rare and amazing varieties can be yours for the taking. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope it encourages you to continue searching and pushing to find and discover rare varieties and errors in your pocket change. Make sure you keep tuning in right here on the Coin Op. Continue letting me, Dustin, be your treasure map to your pocket change. If you'd like to support our channel, you can easily do so by hitting the thumbs up button. The more you hit the thumbs up button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. Also by subscribing and of course commenting. The more you comment, the more interaction you have with the channel. Again, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. And make sure you subscribe. We currently are on a push for 50,000 subscribers. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, we are giving away major double dies. We are not that far off, so make sure you subscribe so we can get this giveaway on the road. We do have a website, it is VarietyErrors.com. Once again, it is VarietyErrors.com. We do have a forum, an auction site, just a whole bunch of really cool stuff going on over there. Make sure you go check it out. You can always find myself or Robert Lawson in the CoinOp group on Facebook. Or you can always find us in the CoinOp sales group on Facebook as well. And that is an excellent place that you can go to to buy, sell, and trade coins. And as always, have fun!